This is my Simpson meter. It's a very simple meter. And it is a Simpson 260. And you can see that I have it set up on ohms and it's set to R times 10,000. And I'm going to use this meter as actually part of a circuit for a one transistor amplifier. This is basically what I'm going to be using in the Simpson 260. There on the lower left is a resistor that goes up through the meter coil and then over to a battery. So it's a very simple circuit and I'm going to use the meter as an indicator of amplification. Here's the setup with the meter and the single transistor. This is an NPN transistor so the collector is positive and the emitter, which is the arrow, is negative. And for the first part of the demonstration I'm not going to use any biasing at all and just touch the base with my finger and I'm going to rub my foot on the carpet to generate a small signal. Okay, so here is a general purpose NPM. See the meter jump there. Now I'm going to rub my foot on the carpet. This next part I'm going to bias the transistor so it does not conduct as much. And I'm going to do that if you take a look at the base and the emitter here. I've got a resistor between them and all I'm going to do is touch both the emitter and the base and rub my foot on the carpet and you'll see that the signal will still come through but I am biasing that transistor so it does not conduct as much. And if I wanted to lower that signal here I just am touching both the emitter and the base and I'm biasing the base toward the emitter and also my two fingers are actually shorting out part of the signal. Now I want to bias the transistor so it will conduct more and also amplify the signal when I rub my foot on the carpet and if we take a look at this drawing you'll see that the base now has a resistor going up to the collector which will cause the transistor to conduct more. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just touch both the base and the collector at the same time and create a small signal and you'll see that indeed the transistor does conduct more and you can still see the signal. Now if I wanted to increase that, I'd go over here to the collector and then touch the base. I'm biasing it toward the positive. Now when I touch the carpet or rub my foot on the carpet, the bias is higher and so is the signal. Okay, now here's without anything, just touching the base. It 
it's amazing how sensitive those little transistors are.